I'm Connie Singer Ryan. I'm a lampshade maker. I've been lampshade baking for 30 over years. From young, I like to handcraft. My parents had eight children, you know, I was in the middle. So, you know, the, all the dresses, right, is from my elder sister passed down to me. And I'm not happy with it, you know. So, when I get older, maybe in secondary school, I go for sewing class. I start my handcraft work. Hans Singerayan was my husband for 38 years. So he passed on in 2017. Hans' parents had a shop in Kuala Lumpur. His parents and my parents are friends. Uh, when my parents visited them, I tagged along. And then eventually, Hans became my husband. Those were the days. <laughs> As you can see that some of the lampshades are right, not so common in the market because they need a lot of hand work. Bedside lampshades, you know, small for table lampshades. It is for standing lampshades. This design is also very unique. The lotus, as you can see, is three parts. Hans is the one that um, designed out the, the lampshade. Free hand make the lampshades. Then the metal frame will pass to me. Then I put on the fabric that is stitch by stitch to sew on the lampshades. That is how the lampshade will be completed eventually. So, you're a good team. That's what all my customers say. <laughs> Usually, it takes about two weeks to be a lampshade. Let's say that this is called is a lotus lampshade design. Hans used freehand to mold up this design. Freehand. Doesn't mean there is no machine to help you to, you know, to draw out the shape. After Hans made the frame back home, then it's my job already. I start petal by petal. Outside is peach colour, five pleats here. It really look like a lotus flower, right? Yeah. So it's a long process. No way can cut short doing lampshades. No way. At least not in my type of business. So once I have a new order, I couldn't sleep that, that night. Because you know why? Usually I'll consult my husband. Hey, how are we going to do these lampshades? But now I have to think and then design myself how I'm going to do it. The most memorable order that I receive is um, I make a hotel suite lampshades for the arrival of Queen Elizabeth. In 2006, I call up Hans and said, Hey Hans, how about that? There's a request from the Raffles Hotel. Can we do these few lampshades just two weeks? We really have to book very, very tight schedule. Of course, now it is not so much demand, I would say that. Whether lampshade is making can sustain my, my living, well, I lead a simple life. Even from before with Hans, I would say that lampshade making is, won't make us rich. And that I'm not poor also. I do learn this art from Hans. So, I still very proud that I can take up my camera and then show that hey, this is the lampshade that I make for my customers. You feel you achieve something that you catch people's attention. Hey, this Dutch lampshade shop really makes some lampshades that are really unique. Every piece of lampshade that I make, they are my favorite. They are my masterpiece. It's really I, I treat every lampshade with passion, with love. That's make me proud. Because 10 years time, 15 years time, I don't know I'm still on this earth or not. Right, so if this business is still going on, I will say that I still is a lampshade maker. No one can do the lampshade that I do. <laughs>